Hey guys, what's up? It's Ari from AppFind on AppleWisdom.com here, and today we got a brief overview of all of the new stuff that's here on iOS 5, and we we're just going to check this out and look at small portions of each of it, give you guys a little bit of information you might not know, go over some of the bigger stuff, and uh, let's just really take an in-depth look. Alright, so let's get started. The first big feature is notifications. Now basically, notifications will appear either here or here on your screen. You can change your settings by going into Settings, Notifications. Now you can have your apps sorted by manually or by time. You can even include a unique weather widget that will tell you the weather right there. Now let's take a look. So say you want to change your FaceTime settings. You can have it be alerts or banners or none. Do you want the badge app icon, and do you want to be able to view it in the lock screen? You can also set up your reminders, what kind of alert you want, show, how many items do you want to show, and you can set this up for all your apps. Now you can edit individually or edit multiple at the same time. And when it's all said and done, it will show up either here, up top, or you can just have it display only in the lock screen. Now let's take a look at how to install iMessage. Go into your settings. Scroll down. Go to messages. Enable iMessage. Now you can add the uh, receipts and you can specify what email you want to receive it at and whether or not you want subject fields. Now what you're going to do is you're going to launch the Messages app and now you can contact people right through their email. Right here we've got Newsstand. You just click this button right here and since I don't have anything right now you can hit Store and the way you're able to do this is it'll bring you right to the newsstand store. Now there's not a large variety yet, but there's going to be a lot more newsstand items coming soon. What we've got right now is the reminders feature. Let's take a look. Open up reminders. Now you can either see a list or by date. Go over here and you can search all your reminders. Now what you can do is you can add reminders and basically you just say what you wanted to add and then you can edit this reminder you can have it remind you and set the date and time you can even see a complete list or just see what there is for that day you can see the completed tasks and the tasks you still need to do. Next we have the full Twitter integration. Let's go right into your settings and what you're going to do is right in the settings area you're going to scroll down in a little second and go right to Twitter. Now you're going to connect it to your Twitter account and now whenever you're doing anything that you could post on Twitter such as looking at your photos. Hit the little arrow over here, and you can tweet. And you can add a message and a subject, add your location, and even more. Now let's take a look at some of the new camera features. Let's launch right up the camera. Alright, so now what you can do with the camera is when you're holding it on its side, you can take pictures with the volume button. What you can also do is you can format a grid and you have a better HD retina and overall better performance. There are also some easy shortcuts, such as in your home screen, if you double tap the button, it'll bring up 
your music over here, but it'll also bring up an instant link to your camera right there. With the new iOS 5 update, you can now check out your photos instantly streamed on PhotoStream. And I don't have this set up right now, but you can set up PhotoStream and share all your photos with other iPods on your network or in different areas. The new Safari is good too, so when you're on Safari, you can more easily access websites you know and love like AppleWisdom.com. Now you can do even more cool things with it, such as tweet and print, mail links, or add to your either eating list. You can also add it to your home screen, making a really cool Apple Wisdom web app. Your iPod is now completely wireless. You can sync through Wi-Fi, and you can even update to the new iOS completely through Wi-Fi or 3G. Let's check out some cool new mail features you probably didn't know. Say you're about to compose a new message. Well, now you can add some HTML supplements, such as bold and underlined, define, quotes, and even more. So let's say we wanted that bold. We can make it bold. So you wanted to define this you can look it right up in the dictionary. Or, you can even quote. The last features we're going to look at is the new improvements in Game Center. First of all, you can add new photos. You can take a photo or choose an existing photo to represent yourself. You can show how many points you have, how many friends you have, how many games, and you can even send announcements out to all your friends. Now you can take a look at where you rank with all your friends, and where you rank with all the top players. You can take a look at your games, and you can see some cool recommendations. Take a look at requests, and you can add new friends. Alright, so thank you guys for watching App Find. Um, see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe over here and watch the full playlist of all the iOS 5 videos over there. Don't forget to go check out AppleWisdom.com and get the, the web app for it. And check that out. Uh, just download that by hitting the Add to Home Screen button on AppleWisdom.com, and that's wisdom with a Z. See you guys later. I'm Alar from AppFind. Bye.